My name is Sarah Salzberg. I am a 40-year-old mother of a 16-month-old. So to say that I am not engaged with the current slang would be um, I'm extremely out of touch with the, what the kids are saying. But I'm going to do my best to fake it. Um, and like maybe I'll even surprise myself. Thought. It's something that happens when you think of something, but in the past tense, thought, T-H-O-U-G-H-T. That hoe over there. Oh! It's <laughs> My word! <laughs> sus. Okay, so, sus in, to me, sus means like I'm gonna suss it out uh, for millennials and younger. Sus means they're suspect of something. Um, they're concerned citizens. And it's spelled S U S. Is that right? Oh my god! I didn't know that. I didn't one. know that. I didn't either. O T P. Good old O T P. It stands for of the people. And it's basically a coming together um, that the millennials have. Um, with just getting everybody on the same page about government, um, where they stand in terms of policy, OTP, of the people. This land is your land. That's not what it stands for, though. <laughs> pretty much. But sure. that is not a very nice. Country. Thanks, that thank you. Really oh, I know AF. I'm 40, you guys, I'm not 41. AF means <laughs> like cool AF or Hip A F, and it's it's actually spelled H A F, but the H is um, invisible. Well, there's no H. Right, the H is <laughs> invisible. <laughs> um, bay. It is. It's short for baby. Like when you don't have enough time, because this generation things just move so quickly, so they just want to be like, hey, babe. They don't have time to say baby, and I know that it's spelled B A E. Is that what that means? Better. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. So, like, I got the idea, right? Yeah, if you're my day, so that's got it. Better than I really didn't know that, so that's great. <laughs> I'm learning so much. 